to visit him and to get some coffee and then I'm going to the condo because we're getting our couches cleaned today by Stanley Steamer and I have to start the thank you cards for the bridal shower and I have to organize. We got some more gifts from people who weren't able to come so I have to put them you know like organize them in the cabinets and stuff have to empty the dishwasher and put more stuff in the dishwasher because we're like cleaning everything that we get and there's wash in the dryer that I have to fold and I'm trying to think of what else I have to do basically just organize a lot of things because there's a lot in there but it's very muggy out today so it's definitely a good day to stay in and do that stuff because it's gross and then around five I'm gonna go to the gym with my friend who, Danny actually graduated with her, so um, I met her through him. So we're gonna go to the gym because I never had a gym buddy and these past few weeks I haven't been going because I have been so busy with the condo. We, me and Danny both have been over there for hours every single day, so I finally am gonna go back to the gym. I've been running outside when I can, but I do enjoy going to the gym, especially when I have someone to go with. So I had to transfer gyms to the one that's literally, it's like two minutes down the street from the condo, which is amazing. So we are going to go to start going together a few times a week, which is really good and really exciting for me. So that's what my day is looking like right now. Things always change though. So who knows what exactly is gonna happen today. <laughs> So I stopped at the Rite Aid, which is literally like a second down the street from us, which is really nice because I've never really been, I mean, I have I guess I have been in Rite Aids before, but just to get like, I don't know, gum or something, but I walked around and they have so much stuff. So I was walking out and I saw this candle, look at it. First of all, I thought it was one of those like Cinnabons, well, cinnamon buns that are just like in the individual packaging, but no, this is Enamon's Butter Pound Cake Candle. And it's so cute. It's like, it looks just like an Entman's thing. Like, I'm so excited. I'm gonna light it now and see what it's like. Couches are clean. They're drying. And I just got done folding all the laundry, which was all towels. <laughs> we have a good amount of bath towels. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. These are for the bathroom, like, you know, hand towels. This is Danny's shirt. Um, and we have a lot of kitchen towels, which is so good because you can never have enough of those. So in my house, my mom has like five pretty deep drawers in this little section um, against the stove. So in one of those, she keeps her hand towels and then in another one, she keeps her um, like oven mitts and things like that. We don't have that, so we have a drawer right here. And we did have an actual oven mitt but honestly, it was huge. Like it was like, it was kind of like, I felt like I would need it in like a bakery or something. So we have these three, which are gonna be just fine. Um, so we have those in there. And then we have these for putting on the tables in here also, and they fit perfectly. And then with our kitchen hand towels, there was a lot of them and I got a basket from the bridal shower which had all of my cards in it. So under here is where we're keeping our cleaning stuff for the kitchen. So like these are for the dishwasher, these are um, refills for our soap dispenser and then there's like uh, disinfectant wipes and stuff. So I just put this little basket in here and filled it with the kitchen hand towels which I don't even know how many we have. We probably have over 20 which is good though. So I just put it in there so it's nice and organized. So while I'm doing whatever, I need to switch it out. I can just come under, grab it, put it on. This is the towels that we have on right now, which matches really well with the kitchen. The kitchen is getting there, it's getting clean. Um, it's getting organized. This is my baby. This is what I wanted so bad. This and the Keurig are like what I wanted so, so bad. I use this thing all the time to bake and to make like homemade mashed potatoes and things like that. So I was so excited when my mom got me this and Danny really, really wanted this certain blender. So he didn't get it. So we just bought it with our, some of our gift cards because that's what he really wanted. I really wanted the Kerrigan, the KitchenAid. He really, really wanted the blender and a certain kind of steak knife set. So we're going to get those with some of our gift cards. Um, People are asking me to do a haul. 
I guess I will do a haul, but a lot of the stuff is out of the box. So let me know, like, do you still want a haul from our bridal shower or what? Because, I mean, we really don't have the box. Um, I can remember some of the brands, but um, like I said, it's not in the box anymore. Really, we, like, came in and we, like, knocked it out that day. So um, here's some of our boxes, <laughs> like, under over here, like, crazy. So if you want me to, just let me know and we can definitely do that for you. Hello, handsome. Oh. What are we doing right now? Sitting in the Chinese place near the condo. We have to try it out, so we're gonna have a little date night in the condo. That's right. Look at those fish. That one's cute, it's like puffy. Not for us, but really. oh. And we can read the newspaper. It's upside down. <laughs> well, even if it was right side up, I still can't read it. Epoch, Epoch Times. Epoch. 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 Times. That. Epoch. This is Philadelphia. I guess you can get a like Asian. I'm guessing this is in Chinese writing. I don't know. Is there like Chinese writing, or is there like? Yeah. I guess it's in Chinese writing since we're in a Chinese food. Unless if they're like Korean making Chinese food, I don't know. This is definitely Chinese, I can tell by the... Oh yeah, you can, can't you? Tell me what the first sentence says. Come on. China, okay. You still haven't told me what the first sentence says in the paper. Um, I can't read this again. <laughs> Danny's getting a red box for us to watch. He, okay, I do not like scary movies because I cannot sleep after I watch a scary movie because I don't like to be alone anyway and I like, a lot of scary movies about like psycho killers and stuff like, that can happen so it's hard for me to sleep <laughs> he is making funny faces at me it's hard for me to sleep um after watching them so i keep telling him like after we get married we can watch as many as we want because i won't be alone like whatever but he talked me into watching the texas chainsaw massacre so i'm really hoping that i can sleep tonight because that wouldn't be good if i can't because last night i woke up at like it was like 3.30 in the morning, and I was lying there until like 5, and then I fell back asleep and woke up again at like 7.30, so I didn't sleep that well last night. So if I don't sleep again tonight, he's going to be mad because I'm going to keep him up. Right, Danny? Yeah! Whoa! Well, I don't know what you said. I'm going to keep you up if I can't sleep tonight. Yeah, you will. Alright, the moment of truth. With our new forks and new plates. And new glasses. And new table. And new chairs. And new cushions. Does, is it like average? It's different than what we have, than um, the place we usually get it from, but it's like, it is really good. Okay. Try it. Okay. It's like it's like different, but it's it's really good. It's not like it's not like it's not like cheap tasting. It's not like the mall, like where it's like. I definitely like that place better. Well, I think everyone does. The place near us, like, no one has found a better place. So Danny went home, and I'm watching a movie right now. And I'm looking on the knot.com at like all the things that we have to do and we have to get our marriage license kind of soon because the wedding is in 52 days and it can take a while depending on your county and all that fun stuff. So I know people will get denied sometimes like you have to do it again, which I hope we don't get denied, 
but the list is like pretty long there's like a lot of things I need to do but um it's like so exciting like I texted Danny and I was like we're getting married next month it's just crazy and it's funny because we were just talking about how Danny and I both knew right when we started dating that we would get married and I was 15 and he was 18 at the time I was just about to turn 16 and it was just it's just like so weird because we knew right away both of us did and we are getting married now like it's just crazy to me like we're actually getting married and I feel just so thankful because Danny is my perfect match he's everything that I'm not and anything I lack in he's you know good at so it's like I lean on him a lot for things that I need to lean on him for and he's just so selfless and he's so caring and kind and hardworking like with the condo he just totally took it by the horns and like just did everything and he's a perfectionist so he hates when people get in his way so like I kind of just like stood back let him do his thing and now it's my turn to decorate so I'm excited about that but I'm just so thankful for everything that is happening right now and it just makes me um <clears throat> kind of emotional because it's just we're so blessed in so many ways and we just um not many people are given opportunities like we're being given, especially at such a young age. So it's just crazy that we can have these opportunities and we can be able to get married so young and have a place to live and have new things and have such wonderful family and friends around us and a wonderful church and just everything is just, I'm not going to say perfect because there aren't all, like our life isn't perfect, but it's really good and we just both I can speak for him too are so thankful and it's just overwhelming how thankful and like just how everything's working out and Danny's brother just got back from Africa and he was telling stories about it and it's just so crazy how much we have in general I mean most people in America have and just how little others have and I mean we do do um, different fundraisers and stuff through youth groups since we're youth leaders and we did like the 30 hour famine and helped in that way but it's just it's crazy how we can have so much and others can have so little but I'm so thankful and I'm so thankful for Danny and um, for being able to get to marry my best friend and he has such a bright future he's so good at what he wants to do and He's so passionate about what he wants to do, with, which is health things. He's not exactly sure what with his degree yet, but I just feel like we have such a bright future and we're just so thankful and we're thankful for you guys because um, you guys are so great and for the people who've sent us things and like registry things, it was really nice and I know I was getting a lot of slack because I said that we weren't getting enough, which wasn't what I said, but um, there's a few things that we needed still, so obviously I'm very thankful for everything we got, and I'm so excited that we have all new things, and it's just exciting, and, um, we do have a lot of hand-me-downs, like my parents' couches, and, like, um, there's a lot of hand-me-downs, actually. Pretty much all of our furniture came from my parents, <laughs> but it's just so great. So, good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow, and... Um, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Danny has off, so I think we might be going to Ikea, my favorite place. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.